sitting at a dead stop on the upper deck of I-35 with nowhere to go for more than an hour. Our newsroom phones were ringing off the hook this weekend. Drivers were telling us somebody needed to be on the hook for causing that delay without any warning. So KXAN's Aaron Cargyle took your concerns to TxDOT asking who is responsible and if they will face any consequences. And she's live with those answers. Aaron. Robert and Shannon, let's be honest, we're never surprised about delays on I-35, but Sunday took it to the extreme. Yesterday, when we started getting calls from drivers, we called TxDOT, and they were clueless about the closure. That's because the work was done at the wrong time and took entirely too long. Sunday morning plans out the window for these drivers. We got quite the collection of photos from the upper deck of I-35. All angles looking miserable. A few of them taken by one of our KXAN photographers trying to get to work. Felix Palacios sent this one at 9.57 a.m. after sitting for more than an hour. They basically trapped a few thousand people for an hour and a half. He had nothing but time, so he got out of his car and walked about half a mile down to this roadblock where crews were trying to pull a fiber optic cable across the highway. A job we learned was supposed to take 10 minutes between 6.30 and 7.30 Sunday morning. We're very sorry about what happened to the motorist on I-35. Wayne Wedemeyer is on the board of directors for the Greater Austin Area Telecommunication Network. They got the permit for the job and say their contractor dropped the ball. He was told the crew was late and after waiting, decided to go ahead with the work. And we relied on the contractor to make the right decision. They didn't. In hindsight, he says the work should have been rescheduled. It's an embarrassment to us as Gatton. Uh, it's not something that we're happy about. Wedemeyer says Gatton's had a good record since 1994 with no problems. TxDOT could assess fines, but tells KXAN they're not going that route. Now, the drivers who are stuck are a little less forgiving. They tell me the company responsible should be hit with heavy fines. This entire ordeal is causing TxDOT and Gatton to change their ways. They tell me moving forward from this point on, they will always have some on site to make sure something like this never happens again. Live in downtown Austin, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News.